Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I noticed in the last video that many of you were asking about my Fennec loadout so I'll be sharing it today. If you're here for the gameplay then skip to the time shown on the screen. Because before we start the gameplay we'll do a quick comparison between the Fennec and the MX-9. Let's get started. So this is the Fennec build that I'll be using in this video and we'll compare it to the MX-9 build that has the large caliber mag and we'll find out which gun kills faster because as you know the MX-9 has been nerfed and now it deals much less damage. There are a lot of things that needs to be tested to decide which gun is the best but when it comes to SMGs there are two important things we need to consider. First of all the time to kill and second of all the hip fire accuracy. So we will check the time to kill against an enemy with 300 HP starting with the Fennec. It has a fire rate of 1140 rounds per minute and at 10 meters range it deals 25 damage so it kills within 579 milliseconds and at 20 meters range it deals 19 damage killing the enemy within 789 milliseconds as for the MX-9 it has a fire rate of 897 rounds per minute and at 10 meters range it has a damage of 28 therefore it kills within 669 milliseconds and at 20 meters range the damage goes down to 20 so it kills within 936 milliseconds so you can see that the Fennec beats the MX-9 at both ranges when it comes to the killing time. As for the hipfire, the easiest way to tell which one is better is by checking the size of the crosshairs for each gun. And if we put them side to side, you can notice that the Fennec has smaller crosshairs than the MX-9, which means it has better hipfire accuracy too. These two reasons alone should be enough to pick the Fennec over the MX-9 at all times. Whether from the ground or the loadout airdrop, the Fennec always wins. Recoil control is probably the only thing that the MX-9 wins at over the Fennec, and it's not really important, because at close range it's easy to control it, especially if you're using it with hipfire. Now that we're done with the comparison, let's move on to the gameplay. This one had a mix of strong and weak enemies but there were a lot of them, especially at train station. It was basically a party in that place. And we'll see the Fennec in action. So we landed on construction site and we had some good early action. Engaging the enemies. Enemy down. I played this game after the second day of the jetpack class release. So many enemies I met thought that I was hacking because most of them didn't know about it and they didn't realize it was out. You can see that this guy was surprised to the point where he didn't even bother to shoot back. And I think he was telling his friends that I'm a cheater. <laughs> Regarding the mods that I recommend using with the Fennec or any other SMG, first of all the extender mag and then the hipfire boost mod followed by a range mod. However, if you manage to find a legendary fast ADS mod then you should definitely use it instead of the range mod because the speed boost you get from the perk is way too good. It's basically a legal speed hack. After that we went for the first loadout airdrop and I prioritized getting my M4 first since we're in blackout. Most of the fights are mid to long range. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Oh. 
Enemy. Enemy eliminated. One thing to keep in mind about campers, when they're standing still, their accuracy is at its best. So never underestimate campers. You might be moving sideways or jumping to dodge their bullets, but when you do that, you're also lowering your gun's accuracy. So you might end up missing more shots and losing the fight, which was almost the case here. Because this guy melted a lot of my HP, even though I was flying. Next, I went for the second airdrop to get the Fennec and right after I got it, my teammate went down at train station. So I headed towards him right away. And that's where many players got killed. So everyone just kept coming to get their teammates duck tag and we ended up having a big party. Engaging the enemy. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. Engaging the enemy. The airdrop is coming. There were a lot of things going on, I just didn't know where to start. And I was worried about an enemy using SMRS, so I had to be careful here. Enemy eliminated. Moving on to the final stages of the game, one thing you need to consider here is snakes. All this grass and open area makes a perfect habitat for them. But luckily, one of the advantages of the jetpack class is you can use it to scout the area around you to check for any snakes nearby. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, as always a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.